uh, everyone uh, at the Asian American for being here today. And I just want to say on behalf of New York City that you are not alone. First, we need to unite all our intelligence and resources. Help refer people to other uh, lawyers' organizations. This webinar, before we start, is made possible by Asian American Unity Coalition, Civic Leadership USA, and Jing Jing TV. Thank you to uh, everyone uh, at the Asian American Unification for being here today, for putting together this event for all of us to be able to share our experiences. Uh, thank you to the coalition, also to Ding Ding TV and to Civil Leadership USA for organizing this webinar to address hate crimes against our communities, especially during this uh, pandemic. Um, first, I bring you greetings from, while well, I'm traveling back from Washington, D.C. to New York right now, um, and I hope that you and your families are safe and healthy. Um, I know that many of you are working today not just to combat the pandemic, but also to combat this uh, long-lasting virus of discrimination. And thank you for your fight to expose this racism and xenophobic acts. Uh, please know that you are not alone uh, in this fight, and I thank you so much for your work. Over 2 million APIs are working on the front line. So many Chinese Americans on both sides of the aisle speaking up. And I'm very thankful for so many of you who did. Um, I'm proud to have introduced a resolution in Congress that condemns anti-Asian uh, sentiment, uh, especially during the coronavirus pandemic and we've had over 140 sponsors of this legislation. And it calls on all of us as leaders to condemn and denounce this sentiment in any form. But more importantly, it calls for federal agencies like the FBI to work with state and local officials to be able to report, prosecute, and bring perpetrators to justice. I've, been meet, I've met many of you in your various home states, and I hope that our country gets to a point again soon where I can come visit all of you again. And I hope that you and your families are safe and healthy. I'm honored to be the first elected Asian American Unity Coalition president to kick off our very first series of AAPI stand for Asian American Pacific Islander Unity Coalition Seminar. Our mission is to forge unity among all AAPI organizations and individuals to be united and power to speak with one voice. Our road is to connect, to, do to coordinate, to collaborate, to contribute, to unite and empower our community. The purpose of the AAPI Unity webinar series is to unite our community, to make our community visible, and to take control of the negative rhetoric and narratives permeating the media that stigmatizes the Asian. And I just want to say on behalf of New York City, which has seen its rise in Asian American hate crime, that you are not alone. And I want to say thank you to the number of frontline workers, grocery delivery workers, nurses, doctors of Asian descent that every day go to work to protect the rest of us and never worrying about the consequences to themselves or their own family. And to the cowards who think you can scapegoat the community, the answer is you can't because we're going to be there every step of the way opportunity at the end to do a webinar reflection and those who do the reflection will have a form for you all by the way. Oh the community members actually made a lot of clothes masks and donated to nursing homes, uh, schools, so to hospitals. There is a lot of assumption that we don't have any discrimination or racial attacks or this is not COVID-19 is not impacting us. That's actually not true. The purpose of the website is for people to share stories, 
and to track incidents of hate, refer people to other uh, lawyers, organizations, or other avenues just in case there's kind of a legal um, need. We need to speak up, otherwise people don't know where the problems are and people can't help us.